Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot from That's the Reading. Today we have one of their true intentions in love. And uh, the first card we have here, Sagittarius, is the New Beginnings card here. And uh, it's really beautiful here, right? And uh, it's followed up with Voyage, Purity, and Focus. And so, uh, clearly you have a new beginning coming, right? It's, you know, the Voyage card kind of implies that maybe it's been a long journey, could talk about a life, a voyage, right? Like somebody's coming to bring you a new beginning, and uh, together, you know, you're you're going to have a, a some type of a major journey with this person. But uh, and here's the, the mother whale carrying the baby whale here. <coughs> Somebody could have maybe been carrying something, possibly, in order to come forward uh, because we have cards over here that can speak to somebody's journey might not have been so so easy uh, to arrive, right, to get here. But we have focus and purity, and somebody is focused here on this new beginning with you, uh, Sagittarius. And the purity card, you know, this is, <clears throat> somebody could be seeing this as very pure or possibly starting over because kind of the purity card is, you know, let's start with kind of, uh, kind of something very sweet and like a clean slate as well. It can sometimes, uh, uh, kind of imply that, right? We start also, you know, with these cards here. The eel is here. This is a, a very electric or intense situation or relationship. Yeah, this is something very intense, I believe. And, you know, somebody could possibly be coming forward here, Sagittarius, uh, after kind of maybe going through a major identity crisis about this. Like, just like, who am I? And uh, do I want a new beginning with Sagittarius? Or... Like, what do I want for my life? Like an identity crisis, you know, kind of like a, a, a midlife crisis where people, you know, they worked at the ABC uh, company their whole life, right? And they're like, well, it was all fine then, but I don't want to do this anymore. I want something more meaningful, right? I want my own little gig or my own little uh, business or just something like that. Or, you know, maybe you want to go be a, a park ranger and before you were a lab, just some type of, you know, I don't know, be a mad scientist, Sagittarius, I don't know. But, you know, the whole identity thing talks about, <clears throat> it talks about going through life and coming to a spot where questioning your identity, is this where I'm supposed to be, or who you are, or what you want in your life, as I said, right? We have the wall here, and somebody's very vulnerable here because it's next to the dark and the rebellion card, OMG. Mm -hmm. Somebody feels like uh, vulnerable, they could have been... Uh, and there could be a wall. It could be just a wall of vulner vulnerability where they just have a little bit of fear. <laughs> Possibly. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. <coughs> Possibly because maybe they've gone through some type of a hell. Maybe because here's the dark card. Uh, and this is Sylvia Plath, and uh, she was, you know, really dealing with emotional issues, right? Maybe somebody has emotional issues here. It looks like somebody's coming forward, and they could have surprised themselves, Sagittarius, because the identity card, as I said, can talk about somebody who's kind of, kind of questioning their life, like, you know, am I, do I still want to, you know, stay here and, you know, kind of... Um, craft out shoestrings at, you know, at the ABC Shoe Company, right? Something like that. But I'm just saying that somebody has really questioned, I feel like, their relationship or their life. Yeah. And <clears throat> we have the Rebellion card. And, you know, when you go through an identity crisis, talk totally about rebelling to what you wanted or what you thought you wanted, right? Beg your pardon, guys. So the rebellion, you know, this rebellion can talk about somebody who no, no longer wants to comply with a situation. Like, they don't want to comply with what everybody else is kind of, maybe, you know, this may be a situation they, they agreed to before, but they don't want to follow that anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else we have here. But uh, you have a, a beautiful new beginning coming. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. And their person, right? We're going to put both cards out. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Show me the energy for Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius. And we have the hanged man. The person might be Pisces. I'm not sure here. Let's see what else we have.
Six of Cups. There's somebody from the past right here. This is ordinarily that. Mm -hmm. This is what's on your mind. I feel like you're wondering if this person's coming. Most likely. If they are on a voyage, right? Let's see what we let's see what we have. Let's see. Let's look at your challenge. Show me the challenge for Sagittarius. The challenge, please. It is the Ace of Swords. So the challenge could have been a decision, getting to the heart of the matter. Because, you know, that's what this card talks about. And then, you know, a decision that's going to bring victory. This is what you, this is your challenge. What you wanted. Show me what Sagittarius was wanting. Show me what Sagittarius wanted. We have the Eight of Cups. OMG, or hoping. So, you know, this card really kind of speaks just to abandonment. You might have want, you maybe want somebody to abandon something else. You could be dealing with somebody, Sagittarius, who has gone through an identity crisis. And you might know that because, you know, if you want somebody to maybe abandon somebody here, if this is de definitely like your desire, uh, it looks like somebody was going to return here and they kind of, like they could have went through a midlife crisis about you or some type of a crisis where I, well, do I want to be here or go be with Sagittarius? That's how this reading is kind of showing up here. We have the strength card in your doubts and your fears. See, you could be wanting them to abandon somebody here, right? Um, and then, but you could be fearing they don't have the courage to do it. And this could be you as well. Let's look at their cards and let's get a couple shuffles in. Right now, you might feel, like, really stuck, and you look like you're praying. Your current energy is the Seven of Wands. A man's on his knees praying, praying for movement, praying for action, praying for uh, something that, praying about something that, that very inspires him, brings him passion. Mm -hmm. You could have felt stuck in this, stuck about this in the past, but it definitely looks like you are uh, praying that hoping your prayers are going to be answered. You're just like praying here, definitely. Maybe you were worried here that this person was in some type of a dark, a major dark energy. This person may not want to be where they're at either. With the identity crisis, yeah, I feel like this is about somebody who doesn't want to really be where they're at. But I feel like they had to go through a major crisis to figure that out. Yeah. So let's look at their energy. And they have the Knight of Pentacles. They could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The Eight of Wands. See, this has changed for them. This is in their current energy. What's on their mind? Seven of Wands. Their challenge, the Nine of Cups. Mm-hmm. And what they could be, maybe they're Capricorn. This, this Nine of Cups was in Capricorn's switch, kind of what's on their mind. This Nine of Cups is the challenge for your person. What they want is the death card. They want an ending to another union, or they hoped for one. I mean, it looks like this person is kind of, this is the person who probably is gone through a major kind of like crisis here about this. It's possibly somebody here was lying to themselves in the past about how much they, they, they really loved you. Or it could be you. Because there's some dishonesty or deception here. There is some. Mm-hmm. Could be all about the past, though, right? You could have known this person maybe has gone through this, Sagittarius, and that your challenge could be about this person is that they need to get to the heart of the matter. Like, I feel like this was a really hard decision for somebody here, and that they had to actually, as I said, go through some type of identity crisis about this. And their fear is going to be the strength card. OMG, you guys both have as the as the uh, the fear of the doubt the strength card. So you know, uh, it's possible there's a third person here. I'm not saying there is for sure, uh, but it's a possibility here. 
They want an ending. They could, it's possible that they just want an ending to this whole situation with you, like maybe to bury the hatchet. It's possible. And it's also possible that this person felt really bad. If there is a third person involved, they felt really bad about kind of this whole identity crisis they've gone through. Because with identity crisis and rebellion, it looks like somebody had to figure out that what they had, they didn't really want. And it's a huge rebellion in somebody's life. So let's see. We have the hangman. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Why is there a hangman there? Excuse me, you guys. Four of Pentacles. It's possible you just felt really stuck here or kind of held in limbo because maybe this person was holding on to somebody else. Four of Pentacles. That card can talk about greed. Somebody might be, you know, somebody was, uh, maybe this whole identity thing is, you know, this whole kind of change or waking up to like what's important to you or what you want in your life, that could have been your person. Uh, but, you know, you could have felt like you were in limbo about it because maybe they want to hold on to too much money. Uh, identity crisis in somebody's life can always talk about money. I mean, in many cases, right? Oh, well, you know, like, as I said, I've been working at the ABC Corporation for 20 years from now, I have all these benefits and, you know, uh, kind of goodies that, you know, uh, working here. But, uh, you know, I don't want this anymore. But I might need to stay for all the money. It could be, right? Or I need to, I need to sacrifice for money. Yeah, let's see. Financial stability. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Here you are, Sagittarius, praying here. Praying for this earth sign, most likely, because your person's first card is the Knight of Pentacles. Here you are saying a prayer. I hope you're coming. Pretty sure here. You might be concerned. This person might be deceptive with you. It's possible. We see the snake handing her the pentacle or with his mouth. What's on your mind? Six of Cups, Fool card. See, you. what's on your mind here is an adventure with this person. Or them stepping out and taking a chance to be with you. Because there is a risk here. There's some type of a risk. And I feel like it's about your person. Ace of Swords. King of Pentacles, now we have the Queen, the Knight, and the King. So it definitely could be a person, Sagittarius, right? And in the challenge for you, I believe a decision needed to be made, Ace of Swords. This can talk about communication might be a challenge. Three of Cups, yeah, this is a decision about a reunion. Three of Cups. And the beautiful thing in this reading is that the first card I put down here, the very first card was New Beginnings. Your hope is the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. See, for me, it looks like you're hoping that they're going to, this is a card of abandonment, typically. Right? And the Queen, of, you could be hoping that this person is going to abandon another situation, whatever, their life could just maybe be... Uh, it doesn't always have to be another union. It could be that you want them to end like, like, as I said, maybe they, you know, have some funky job and they don't have a lot of like, or, but a job that provides, it could be about their career that provides stability, but it still takes courage to leave that if you're used to it. Right. And this identity card talks about somebody questioning, like, what's real for me? Right? Sometimes it requires giving up some type of financial abundance. You just might want them to end another life that they're living. Maybe it's far away. Maybe it's at some, you know, maybe if they quit their job, that whole whatever they're, you know, they quit their job, that they can actually come and be with you. Right? And so, uh, and this is what I feel like you're hoping that this person will probably abandon something here uh, and kind of just like, Stop discerning this and just take the little, take the, uh, the crown. This is the crown of glory or the crown of victory. That's what that is. And 
you know, the queen put her sword down there, and she's accepting it. You're hoping for this, and the strand card is your doubt or your fear showing up with the nine of swords. You could be like, you know, maybe you are doubting this because you think that this person is, is like in too much fear to do this, right? Mm-hmm. It takes balls to overcome an identity crisis. It does. I mean, I can't. But, you know, this nine of swords, you could be doubting this because maybe you feel like they have to be cruel to somebody. Like, like they have to maybe walk away from somebody, right? This dark card, somebody's been in some really dark energy here. Mm -hmm. Here's a lady, and she's angry with her, you know, she has her veiny skirt on and her veiny finger, finger, fingernails, right? Like, you know, like she's a real witch here. And, you know, she's, she's holding up the soup, and here's the third eye. So, and this talks about somebody who could be, like, she felt mistreated by her husband, and she already had emotional issues, and then, you know... He cheated on her, and after that, she I think she put her head in the oven, right? And did away with herself. Yeah. So it's possible here that if there is a rebellion here and somebody's walking away from a situation, it could possibly put somebody else, like, in a really bad place. It's a possibility here. So let's look at your person's energy. They have the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. And the High Priestess, they could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, not Cancer, but Pisces or Scorpio. But this person's all in their intuition. Kind of like dreaming or a, like just kind of contemplating, but like in their soul. They could be praying. She's praying here. She's holding the key. This High Priestess is praying. And here you are, Sagittarius, praying. You could be saying, well, I didn't really believe in God before, but I'll pray now, okay? <laughs> that's, that's kind of a terrible joke, right? But that's what my son told my daughter. He goes, oh, she's getting weird. She said, I mean, to him, because we we kind of grew up in the church. I mean, we're not, you know, we believe in God, right? We're not terribly, like, we're not devout, but we do believe in God. And so he, he said this to my daughter. Oh, she kept saying, like, she didn't believe in God and, she didn't believe in this and that and just kind of things that, you know, just things that are like kind of important and this and that. And he goes, oh, she's changing. And it wasn't just about God, but it was about other things. He goes, she's, she's weird. He goes, what is she learning all this kind of some of it, right? And so the thing about God, though, uh, just applying, you know, speaking specifically to this, uh, he said, really, you don't believe in God? He goes, well, you know, if you find yourself in a near-death experience, you might start praying right there. And then, you know, I'm sure that probably bugged her because, you know, <laughs> we have the seven of wands and the page of swords. Here they are feeling really challenged. They could be wondering if you're going to maybe fight them or like argue with them or give them a hard time, possibly. It looks like you're like you were just kind of hoping that they would have the strength probably to break away from a situation. And, you know, come and live this beautiful life with you, right? New beginnings, the voyage, purity. I mean, this is a beautiful, uh, I feel like somebody realizes this person. They went through some type of a, like an awakening with an identity card, and they realized that, that this is very pure and protected between you guys. Possibly like there's no other relationship like it, the purity card, right? So here's your person all in their intuition here about change. It could have been in the past. This might have been somebody else even too. But uh, this is per this person is definitely thinking of change, forward movement, new opportunities, the Eight of Wands, passionate, inspirational kind of change, right? And here they are, uh, the Emperor's Reversed. I feel like this person is wondering here, maybe maybe they were kind of, uh, what's the word in the past, like controlling, possibly. But they're definitely wondering here, uh, and they feel overwhelmed.
Maybe they're a dad, the emperor in the reverse. Let's get another card here. Sometimes speaks to a dad. Justice. Mm -hmm. This person in the past, Sagittarius, could have, you know, we have the eel here. It talks about deception. This person maybe thought that, you know, that because they, they're lacking some type of courage here. They could have thought that, you know, They could be thinking about somebody else right here, though, in their current energy. They're wondering about something. Page of Swords. But this person could also be kind of like in the situation where they're trying to bring justice and kind of truth to their life and balance. I feel like this person has a strength card in their in their doubts and fears. Sagittarius, they're they're afraid that you're not going to have the courage for this because I feel like they've been deceptive in the past. Or they had you very overwhelmed. Maybe they were controlling. Chariot card. Here they are wondering whether or not they're going to have a victory and movement with you. That's what they're wondering. Maybe if you're going to resist them, possibly because they were married, maybe the emperor reverse can talk about a dad, a father, but justice is with it. This can talk about a marriage. They're definitely, definitely wondering if they come forward, Sagittarius, if they're going to have balance and movement with you. That's clear here. And what's on their mind, or their challenge here is... Uh, yeah, this is what's on their mind here. Movement, if they're going to have balance. Their challenge is the Nine of Cups, the Wish card, Wish Fulfillment, Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the Page of Wands uh, is, uh, it can be like a new direction. Like this person can't, you're their wish, but they can't be with you unless they take a new direction, Page of Wands. And that's what the Identity card is about. Somebody questioning like their role in their life. And so I feel like they have to break out of something else in order to come forward. And that is the challenge most likely. It could be to your, you, let's see what else we have, the King of Swords. So the challenge for them was to make this decision. For sure. The real challenge is that this decision was just kind of a byproduct, right? Kind of a maybe a symptom of that but the real challenge for this person is that I feel like they had to change their whole life with this identity card so let's see and they're hoping for an ending in the Knight of Cups this see they're for me they're this is like a, probably a transformation they look like they want to bury the hatchet with you but they also look like they could be ending another situation as I am saying right whether or not that's career or marriage or something the Empress and that's you, Sagittarius, showing up as the third party, passionate, I believe, or the passionate empress. Mm -hmm. Nurturing, beautiful, abundant. Mm -hmm. And she is a number three. That can, you know, that can apply a third party all the way. This person wants an ending. Here's the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. I feel like they are hoping to put everything in the past and for you to accept this cup. Yeah. Mm hmm. Maybe they think you're going to rebel as well, Sagittarius, because, I mean, Sagittarians, you know, can be known as rebels. Now, if you're not, if you haven't kind of ever identified with that, you could, have a lot of, you could have a lot of water in your chart or, I don't know, something else, because Sagittarians are like the known rebel. They are. Mm hmm. So this person might think that you're like you're going to rebel. You're going to go what? It's a possibility here. Because here they are wondering if they're going to have movement with you in victory. And I believe that they're going to bring balance. <clears throat> this person might think you might resist them because maybe they were controlling in the past or 
possibly are just married with the emperor reverse. You can talk about a father for sure. And in their fear and their doubt is the strength card. Yeah, and it just fell on the floor, so we're going to borrow yours. You guys are both fearing and doubting strength. <laughs> but I feel like you were, you were because uh, maybe they had to hurt somebody over here, nine of swords, in order to have this courage to come forward. Because the rebellion card is here. You can talk about, as I said, somebody rebelling. Uh, something they don't want, they no longer want in their life. That's what this is about. And here they are fearing the strength card and the seven of pentacles. They don't know what's going to happen. I feel like this person doesn't know what's going to happen between you guys because they could be afraid. I, there's just some type of mistrust here. Like this person thinks you're not going to, like you're not going to believe in them and trust them. Most likely. They could have put up a wall with you in the past. They could have kind of blocked you. Let's get another card here. I feel like they blocked their own feelings for sure about you. The Seven of Pentacles and the Moon, this is in their fear. Maybe they're worried here that somebody else will know what they're doing. That somebody else, uh, they could be fearing that somebody else knows they have the courage. I feel like this person just has fears and doubt whether or not you will have the courage to, like, embark on this journey with them. Pretty sure. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this could be about somebody. They might be married to somebody right here. I just feel like this person thinks you might not have courage for this. But we're going to go to the extended to find out, Sagittarius. We're going to end this reading. And we're going to see how they feel about you. How they're seeing the situation. We're going to look at their environment, any external influences, mm -hmm. and uh, also kind of what you don't know about this person, Sagittarius, yeah, their near future and their, and their true intentions. Thanks so much. The link is below. They're also affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.